Hey guys, I just got done with going on a cemetery walk, and this is the same day that I walked um, at my hour lunch at work at the park in Logansport. And then I came home and I went on a short, like, maybe 10 minute walk with me and my husband and my Dexy girl, my Chihuahua. And then we came home and ate. And I'm still flushed from working out. Um, I've always been like that, just, you know, even when I was less weight. So when I played softball, my face was always red, you know. And so I went to the cemeteries next to the house. There's like three, I thought there was three, but when I walked today, there's like four lots. And there's side by side by side, and there's just a little bit of gravel road. Um, that vehicles can get through and the hearse to go through and so I walked that whole distance and went up past the group home and it's part of the company where I work I went up the hill all four lots to the curve and then I circled back around to the older parts of the cemetery and then I went back home that way which I had to go over another road and up the hill again to get home so I was like ugh, exhausted it took 45 minutes and I met, might have took like two or three second break in between because I stopped and like said hello to you know the spirits I was gonna go see a, a certain old friend and I was looking for her grave and I could not find it and I feel like she was guiding me to go to these other graves and you know give my condol my condolences I'm sorry and say hello and give thanks because these are two of them I actually had contact with well it's kind of confusing because one I knew of you know lived pretty close passed away pretty close to the house then there was another spirit that I was um, working as a case manager and you know I don't want to go into it because of you know confidentiality and HIPAA but um, but anyway make a long story short it broke my heart and I, I it hit home so bad that you know this certain particular person um, you know I it was like one of my other friends that passed away recently and it about killed me you know seriously I was grieving so bad and I was grieving because of the age of this particular person and make a long story short I was in contact with the mom and this person was going to be on my caseload this 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 client um, at my case manager job and you know this was a young child and um, it's awful and anyway make a long story short I was guided to see that grave of that child and I left right before it happened so I feel like it was spirit I don't know I probably would have had a mental breakdown honestly I can't tell and then the other person I actually had some memories with during school and so I went to that person's grave and thanked them for helping me out with a science project you know because I didn't know what was going on and this person helped me through it and um, so all three of them were had a place in my heart and my spirit and in my journey you know not just as a medium but as just a human being and just you know understanding how life works and it's unpredictable so I wanted to go pay my respects and it's weird because I didn't know that these three individuals were buried there but they told me to go exactly you know exactly where they were buried like I went past several thousands of graves you know and they told me start from the left go to the right and then you're gonna take this gravel road and you're gonna go a certain amount of steps and you're going to stop and you're going to look and that was like boom 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 all three of them and I was just like I almost like I had a bunch of knots in my stomach and I wanted to vomit you know um and I just wanted to like honestly just break down and cry uh, 
but I knew that was my grief. Some of it, some of it was their grief, and some of it was the loved one's grief. So, you know, I, feel, I just prayed to God that I absorbed some of that pain and that I could transmute it later and I could give the healing and the direction that those people need, those spirits and those individuals still living on this earth for them and thinking of them, you know, because I feel like that is part of my mediumship. It's not just about, hey, let's play, you know, this um, telephone game because it to me that's disrespectful. That's not all I do. I feel like that's a lot of what I do, but it's not all I do. You know, I'm very, I try to be humble in my approach as a medium. And so that just like blew me out of the water today. That spirit guided me to a bigger purpose. And that's, that's what I feel like Raven of Hope does really is I'm still getting to know myself, getting to know spirits and they teach me more than, more than I can help other people, you know? So I feel like, I'm always a student, and I just am the medium, you know, like, literally what that is, is just, I'm the bridge in between, and I still have things I don't know, I still struggle, and, like, this made me feel at home, I've been struggling with my anxiety and my depression and my weight, and for me to have this very strong intuition to just go walk, and, you know, and then run into those three particular spirits graves and I didn't know where they were at I didn't know they were even by the house you know um and it's just insane but I feel like that was spirit telling me not to give up hope and to really keep going forward with Raven of Hope no matter the the end result you know it's about experience it's just not and and it's about being grateful and it's not just about a brand you know and um it's about touching people but it's also about experiencing for yourself so i just want to let you guys know that um i'm here and i just want to give you that little rambly video of what i've done today and i'm trying to connect back to my roots of being a medium because i've kind of just let it um honestly i've kind of pushed it to the side because of my day job and my empath ability keeps coming out in that job and it just it's kind of overwhelming so the mediumship part is overwhelming but at the same time it grounds me and it makes me feel it makes me understand my mortality in a way that I I don't feel sorry for myself in a way if that makes sense like it makes me get out of those um, shackles of the mind so to speak and to really go forward with the message and uh, uh, to be an instrument for the Holy Spirit and to be ha happy about that, you know, and to understand that there's more to life than just what I'm thinking about and what people are experiencing around me. Um, but I just wanted to say hello, that I love you guys, I miss you guys, I hope to hear from you guys down in the comments or, you know, however you guys want to communicate with me, I leave my links down below as much as I can. I will be back to talk about some of, some of my crystals that I've been working with that have kind of pushed me outside of this muggle mindset and this poor me mindset with my anxiety and depression. You know, um, I am taking one med um, and it has helped quite a bit, but I still think that it's something that is temporary and it's not going to be permanent because I find that it's actually not... It was helping at first, and now I feel like it's more a hindrance than anything. And this was more therapeutic than anything that I've experienced in weeks. Just going, walking out in nature and connecting with the spirits in the graveyard and understanding that, oh my gosh, you know, oh, I'm going to catch some sort of spirit. No, I don't, I mean, yeah, protect yourself, but at the same time, I feel like I needed, I, it was, it made me feel like my 100% self, my raw self, the purpose that I'm, I'm here for, and it's so beautiful, and I felt my aura, like, buzzing, you know, and I felt, like, the back of my aura, um, and I felt the spirits following me and ushering me through where they want me to go, and I made a joke to my friend, and there's steps, and then it kind of goes down, and then there's, like, this beautiful, um, angel, display with like a book like an it looks like a 
a stone Bible and it has like a certain saying on it and I was like I'm going to the underworld you know it was just a joke it wasn't to be disrespectful but I felt that's what it feels like you go down in the psyche you you tap into those unseen forces and it's the most beautiful thing in the world honestly my spirituality is my savior is my my healer is my everything like I would be mentally insane if I didn't have my spirituality like seriously of course love and then you know the natural things like the actual wants and needs as a human but as a transcending into a um energetic being I need my spirituality that's what taps me in some people it might be I, I don't know, games, or it could be um, makeup, or, you know, because I do believe all that has the same vibration, but for me, the vibration is my spirituality, but I'll stop talking and cut it for this, you know, video, but I will be back with crystals and talking about them, and I thank you guys for putting up with my, you know, look here, um, I'm just a chill person, I don't, I mean, I should wear makeup and do my hair, but I'm just, I say that all on almost every video, and I'm just like, mm, you know, I'm just, eh. <laughs> so, um, maybe one day, one day, guys, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that I do, I do makeup, you know, but I just don't do it, like, very well. But I thank you guys again for connecting, watching, and supporting the channel. Please let me know if you guys want to do collaborations, if you want me to review some of your products, I'd be happy to do that. Um, anything like that, or just want to talk, or, you know, want to do a switcheroo, like I say, like, I like to do that, I like to promote other people's businesses that I believe in, and I also like to do switches, because I believe it's important to spread that good energy, and good karma, or even good juju, so to speak, and not if you don't believe in karma, um, but that's what I like to do, guys, and I thank you again for watching, listening to me blab, and I hope to talk to you guys soon, blessed be, and God bless.